say, oh, look, the zing is popping out too. I, didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that. And actually, as it's turning out, I am getting much better lighting in that little nano reef. I might end up just making my own. Oh, I'm disturbing it too much. I should have poured it right on top of the Montes. Wow, this is pretty incredible. The blue lights just came on, I would say, not more than two minutes. And the zinnia is kind of perking up a little bit. But what's more amazing to me, as I move around my desk, ah, and knock stuff down all over the place. What's more amazing to me is that nebony just popped out just a few minutes ago. It was just enclosed in there. As soon as the light comes on, boom. They love that light. Those are three watt LEDs. I only have two royal blue three watt LEDs on there. And um, they love it. All right, let's see if we can't capture this on video here. The opening of the NEM. We see how it's really closed up. I'm gonna turn the bubbles on. Boom. Turn the light on. I really got to get my cord situation organized here. Okay, there we go. So I tried to get some white light in there, but obviously I don't have enough. And this is all live, real time. I'm not fast forwarding this at all. So I'm just gonna kind of mumble on through. I might um, put some numbers and you can click fast forward down on the, on the YouTube function buttons if you want. But here it is in real time. Look at that bad boy open up. That's just astounding. I, I did not know because the ones in my other tank, they don't close up. Um, for whatever reason, this nano tank is not too happy. And well, for whatever reason, I, yeah, I really don't get it because the water is almost the same. I'm changing about 25% a day right now just because I want to make sure um, that the parameters stay in line. But, but I've been testing it and the pH is right on spot. The um, alkalinity is right on spot. Calcium's right there. Magnesium's right there. I mean, everything is pretty much right there. Salinity. I've been keeping a tight track on salinity. I, I check it about six times a day with the refractometer. And spot on. I've had, because of the little top that I have on there, the plastic top, I have a tiny bit of evaporation, but that's because of the cords that I have going in there. There's a couple of well, there's just one hole that the cords go into and I don't have them sealed off or anything right now. But that'll disappear if I'm able to, um, to get the filtration in addition, the um, thermometer, thermometer, I keep saying thermometer, uh, the heater um, fed in through the bottom. But wow. I'm kind of running out of things to say. Oh, look, the zinnia is popping up too. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that. That just kind of blossomed there. So they all look like they're wilting and dying without the light. And then you turn the light on and bing, bang, boom. It all comes to life. That's pretty crazy. So now I still only have the royal blues, the, um, the red, the green, the ultraviolet, and the white, they're, for whatever reason, they're taking a long time. I'm really glad the, the blue came in um, as fast as it did. The other ones, who knows where they're coming from. I ordered them from the East Coast, but I don't know. They might be hiking a back trail, plopped them in their backpack. That might be their, <laughs> I didn't even say the name of the company. But um, very, very happy so far with this tank. 
Now, one funny thing I will point out, I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit. Let's see. One thing that I will point out is you can see that sponge filter looks huge. And actually that NEM looks pretty huge too, considering it's brand new, fresh, freshly split off baby NEM. But let me give you an example here. I'm looking as I talk in my drawer here. So you can see that sponge filter. I'm gonna put this, yeah, this doesn't really do it justice, does it? Because I'm in front. Um, it's magnifying that, um, let me zoom out a little bit more, see if that helps. Because I'm so far forward, but you can see if I actually put that side by side, let's see if I can't get that more side by side, if I turn the camera just a little bit to the side. There, now I have them at about the same depth. Let's turn it a little bit more. There we go. So that sponge is the same size as this sponge. If you watched the first video, you saw how I, um, how I was able to cut it out. Or wait, did I ever put that on video? I might not have put that on video. But anyway, that sponge is the same size as this sponge because I put them side by side when I cut it out. It definitely has a lot more, it's a lot more porous. But um, the reef bowl does a fantastic job of magnifying things, which is kind of cool because if you have a tiny little frag and you put it in a reef bowl, it looks huge. <laughs> it's pretty slick, I have to say. I, I'm loving this reef bowl. I should have done this one first. Although I probably would not have had the, um, I wouldn't have that nice water and the, and the live rock. I don't think, I'm not sure that the, a reef bowl can actually be done um, as a first tank. Um, I would venture to say that it can't because I would not want to cycle this reef bowl. Things would go wrong really fast in this reef bowl. Um, I feel confident because I know I can pull, at the first sign of, um, of terror, of bad news, I can pull stuff out and plop it back in the main tank and revive them pretty quickly. So that's why, that's where my confidence comes from with, the, with this tiny little one gallon or less than one gallon bowl. Anyway, look at that. I think I'm done talking. That anemone has come out, I think almost completely there. I don't see any skin remaining. Pretty darn cool. I'll turn the white light off because I don't need that anymore. That's only for camera. Wah! <laughs> Scary. So I'm scraping the glass today and lo and behold, what do I see? Another NEM split. This little baby looks a little bigger than the other one. I'm gonna have at it and the only reason why I might swap them out is because this one looks like it might be a little more inhabitable than that other tiny one. This one split. I'm pretty sure it came off of that dude there. I moved a rock and and it got all upset. It got, got big. It was kind of sandwiched under a rock or not sandwiched. It, its foot had lodged under a rock and then I pulled that rock up and it just ballooned and then it kind of shrunk down and the next morning I saw this dude up on the rock. Uh, not the next morning, this afternoon, it was yesterday. <laughs> Gotta get my, my days straight and get no too old for this. The only thing about this rock is it also happens to have some Montipora on there, and I'm not a hundred percent sure about putting some Monty in there yet, especially that nice Jedi mind trick that's there. That's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Ooh, I think I need to get a different lighting situation in here, a little bit more control over the light so that we can see that Jedi mind trick. And, and actually, as it's turning out, I am getting much better 
lighting in that little nano reef. I might end up just making my own LEDs in the long run. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. Look at that. It's attached to the rock. Ooh, it tried to bite me, didn't it? Okay, so what I need to do first, do a little auto top off to make sure the salinity doesn't change too much. And that's about where it is. I'm going to scoop some water out of there. Oops, can I do it with this? I haven't used this one before. Oh, that's tight. All right. I need to remove enough water that I can put my hand in the tank. I think that's enough. First things first, I kind of want to arrange this little sponge filter dude in the back a little bit further. Right smack in the middle there. Now who knows where that NEM's gonna go. We don't know what it's gonna be wanting to do. I'm not gonna worry about the NEM too much just yet. Come to where I can see it. Maybe it won't. If it likes the light, it'll swing around. Now I did just get this water from the tank, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it in here. disturbing it too much. I should have poured it right on top of the Montes. We are going to find out if this little reef tank can handle some Montipora. Alright, I think that's about where I had it. Put the top back on. I think this top is working out so well that I'm just going to go get a nice uh, round piece of plexiglass that matches that matches that. But we're going to wait and see if I can't get my canister filter situation going. But wow, look at that. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Now the NEM is around the corner. You can see the NEM. Ooh. It's around the corner there. And it'll probably defy me and stay back there. But that's okay. I think I'm okay if it actually stays back there because that'd be a nice little hiding place. There we go. Looking good. Spicy Reef here, signing off. Now what are you doing? I think I got it. How do you know if it's up or down? I was wondering why that ball kicked